All right. Good morning. Today we'll be doing a core and more class. So again, focusing on the core, but we'll do some other body parts too that usually we never think about the core when we do them, but we will today. So let's just start as I just was saying, it is habitually, at least right now. So let's just start by warming everything up, waking everything up. Again, with the warm up, just literally do whatever movement you want. You can step back and forth, you can walk back and forth. I always am doing side to side, but whatever you wanna to do to warm up your body is fine with me. But anyway, so we'll start standing, do a couple of core exercises upright and then we will go to the floor do some more exercises and then we'll end with some stretches so for the first one we are going to do i think one of my favorites the core punch out so if you have dumbbells go ahead and grab either one or two of them i usually just grab one but if you have a lighter one and it doesn't feel like much you can definitely grab two so Again, like always, you can do this against the wall to help make sure your back's flat. Or if you're not near a wall or you don't have a flat wall, just really making sure you're tucking your butt under, drawing your belly button in, weight at your chest, punch straight out and straight back in. So really focusing on holding the belly button in while you punch out and come back in. Good. So you wanna make sure your weight has some resistance, but not so heavy that you start to drop it down here. So straight out in front and straight back in. Good, keep breathing, check on that pelvic tilt, that's the most important part. Good. Good. Four more, keep breathing. Good. And 12. Awesome. Okay, we are going to, you can keep that same dumbbell if you'd like. We're going to do a chop. So we're going to go from one hip, you can slightly bend your knees, come diagonal across your body and come over your right shoulder. So again, we're not whipping this weight back and forth. We're using our core and you can use your legs to help bringing your weight to your left hip, diagonal slowly across over your right shoulder. Slowly down, and again, you can bend your knees a little bit to help you, but also really focusing on keeping a pelvic tilt. The pelvic tilt will be your best friend during these core exercises, because if you don't have the pelvic tilt for almost any core exercise, you're not going to either A, feel it, or B, you're gonna feel it somewhere else, which is even worse. So four more, nice and steady, not a race, good. And again, trying to really use your core to twist down and come back up. Again, shouldn't hurt your back. Last one, good. All right, other side, so we're gonna Start right hip, again, slight bend in the knee, diagonal across over your left shoulder, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, good, keep breathing, keep that pelvic tilt. Last three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go back to the core punch out. So again, either by next to a wall with your back flat or standing, tuck the butt under, Draw the belly button in, make sure your back's flat, weight at your chest, punch out and back in. And try not to let your whole body like lurch out trying to punch 
Keep everything else stable. Your arms should be the only thing moving. Good. Nice and steady. Again, pelvic tilt is key. Good. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, two more. Eleven and twelve. Awesome. All right, let's go back and do the chop. So, again, pelvic tilt. Don't forget, I'll keep reminding you. So, left hip, diagonal crossbody over right shoulder. Good. Two, three, four, five, six. Good. Really focusing on that pelvic tilt, twisting a little bit using your core. Good. Four more. Good. Last two. And 12. All right, we're gonna go from our right hip diagonal above our left shoulder, slowly coming down. Good. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Keep that pelvic tilt. Nine, ten. Good. Last two. Eleven. And well, awesome. All right, so the next two exercises we are going to do are those ones that I was talking about where they're not specifically core exercises, but we're going to focus on the core, especially when we do them right now. All right, so first one is going to be the deadlift. So whenever toes facing forward, about a little greater than hip distance apart, slight bend in the knees, Again, we'll have a pelvic tilt at the top. So making sure we're, with this one, we're gonna come all the way down with our back flat, still a slight bend in our knee, and slowly coming up to the top, making sure we're not arching our back at the top, keeping that pelvic tilt. So yes, we are going to be using our legs, predominantly our hamstrings and our glutes, but we also are using our core to make sure we're not hurting our back. All right, so sl again, slight bend in the knee, Hinging forward at the waist. You don't have to come all the way down. Trying to keep your back as flat as you can and slowly bringing yourself back up. Good. Two. Good. Again, at the top, pelvic tilt. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Make sure you have that pelvic tilt at the top. Again, that shouldn't hurt your lower back. We're really using the legs and the core to help you. Good. Four more. Good. Last two. And 12. Awesome. All right, shake those legs out. So the next one, again, unconventional core exercise, but a lot of single arm or single leg exercises also really help with their balance if we're doing legs, and also our core. So for this one, again, 
like always, pelvic tilt. We're gonna do alternating front arm raises. So again, we're not just like whipping our arm up, we're using our core to hold everything else in, only your arms should be moving up. Again, you make sure you're not using a weight that's too heavy that you wanna try to lurch your body forward to get it up. So it should be, you know, some resistance, but not super heavy that you feel like you cannot control it and you're just kind of whipping it back and forth. All right, so for this one, I'd rather have you have a lighter one and focus on that pelvic tilt and control than a heavier. All right, ready? So one's gonna come up, slowly come back down. Other one comes up, slowly back down. So they're never moving like at the same time. One comes up and back down. Other one comes up, back down. Another reason why you don't want this to be too heavy is that your neck can kind of get strained if it's too heavy and you're trying to keep everything else stable, all that tension will end up going to your neck. But we're gonna end up doing six on each side. Good. Six. Seven. Good. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath through all this either. I know there's a lot of things to think about. Good. Nine. Ten. Good. Two more on each side. Good and done. All right, awesome. So we're gonna go back and do each of those one more time. So go to the deadlift. So feet facing forward, about hip distance apart, a little greater if you'd like. Slight bend in the knee. Hinging forward, keeping your back flat. Slowly coming back up, keeping that pelvic tilt. Good. Two. Three. Good. Four. Good. Five. Again, shouldn't feel this in your back. You should feel in your legs and your core. Good. Halfway. Good. Almost there. Again, really focusing on that pelvic tilt. Make sure you're breathing. Last three. And one more. Awesome. All right, shake those legs out. We're going to go back to the alternating front arm raise. Take a quick breather, and then we'll head to the floor. So again, pelvic tilt. One arm comes up, slowly comes down. Other arm comes up, slowly comes down. Good. Two. Three. Four. Keep breathing, check on that pelvic tilt. You can even slightly bend your knees if it's a little bit easier to hold that tilt. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good, 10. Eleven. And 12. Awesome, all right. 
can put your weights to the side and we're going to head to the floor. Feel free to grab some water. Take a little breather. Take your time getting to the floor. Again, don't just like jump onto the floor. Just take your time getting there. Well, if you get here early, you can kind of just sit. I'm gonna do some side to side, whatever you wanna do. I'm just kind of loosening everything up getting ready for the last few exercises on the floor. So, again, the first one on the, most of the ones that we're gonna do on the floor are specifically for exercises, except for the first one is a little bit of legs, a little bit of core. So, again, same with this one. If you're near a wall, you can do this against a wall to make sure your back is as straight as you can, but you can also do this just where you're seated. So what we're going to do is if you are seated and you don't have something to lean your back up against, you can use your hands as kickstands. So we're going to be doing alternating leg lifts. Again, pretty hard to get your leg up high unless you go like this, then you can get it up higher. But we want to try to stay upright using our core. Again, you can use your fingers as a little kickstand, but trying not to lean against your hands. So again, toes are both facing up. One comes up and lowers back down. And we're gonna do 12 on each side if you want to, to make it a little bit easier if that feels too difficult. You can bend one of your legs and it makes it a little bit easier to get up. But again, the goal is not to lift it as high as you can. It's to stabilize your core and help you stay upright and using that quad muscle to lift. All right, anyways. We'll get on to the exercise. So we're gonna just pick one side, whatever side you want. We're gonna do 12 times. All right, ready? Take one. And you might start off a little higher than you end with. Good. Three. Four. Doesn't look like much, but if you're doing it, you know that you're doing something. Six. Try to stay upright. You might start to slouch in between, but really try to stay as upright as you can. Four more, three, two, and one. All right, again, by looks, it doesn't look like too much, but all you know how it feels. All right, other side, one. Which again, one side might be able to get up higher than the other. Three, four, five. Six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. All right. Awesome. We're going to now come on to our back. I'm going to just grab my pillow right here. All right, I'm gonna come onto our back. Again, just take your time getting there. Then we're going to do lower, lower, and lift together. So we're gonna just do eight of these. Again, really important to keep that pelvic tilt the entire time. So legs up, lower one as low as you can, lower the other one to meet it, then bring both up to the top. So lower, lower, up. Make sure that back's flat. Lower, lower, up. Lower, lower, up. The lower you bring them, the harder it is. Good. Three more. Good. Lower, lower. Up, last one, lower, lower, and up. Awesome. All right, just do a little windshield wiper motion, and then we're going to come back up to seated again. Come slowly up. We're going to sit on our butt as tall as you can. Use your hand as kickstands, but trying to be as upright as you can really using your core to hold you up. Then we're going to do 
12 on one side, 12 on the other. Okay, ready? One. Two. Good. Try to be upright as much as you can. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. All right. Shake that out a little bit. We're going to go to the other side. One, two, three, four. Keep upright. Five. Try not to lean back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Great job. Shake those out. We're going to come back onto our back. All right. So we're going to do the lower, lower, and up. So. Lift those legs up, pelvic tilt, lower one, lower the other, then bring, bring both up. Lower, lower, up, lower, lower, up. Good. We're going to do eight. Good. Halfway. Lower, lower, up, lower. Lower, up, lower, lower, up, last two, lower, lower, up, lower, lower, and up. All right, take a little rest, then we're going to just end with 30 seconds of scissors, and then we will stretch. So let me get my timer. I'm going to do a couple windshield wipers in between. All right, and we're going to, again, bring your legs up. The higher they are, the easier it will be. The lower they are, the harder. So just making sure your lower back is flat the entire time. All right, ready, set, go. Hands wherever. Really making sure that lower back is flat. Keep breathing. Good. Awesome job. Halfway there. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, great job. We're gonna bring our arms out to the side. We're gonna bring both knees to one side to do a spinal twist. Again, only do what's comfortable and we're just doing a short version of stretches right now. Feel free to repeat these up to a minute. You usually can do 30 seconds to a minute of each stretch. And then, or you can check out our longer stretch videos on YouTube. All right, we're gonna slowly bring it to the other side. Trying to keep your shoulder blades on the floor. Good. Okay, bring your legs back. Bringing those knees in towards your chest, rocking side to side. And then close your eyes, really focus on your breathing. All right, let your legs come flat, arms above your head, stretching everything out, reaching your fingertips high. All right, slowly making our way to our knees. Again, only if it feels comfortable. We're going to Reach our arms forward, stretching out the back. Stepping 
We're not stepping. Moving our hands to one side. Coming forward. Other side. All right, we're gonna come up to an upward dog, stretching out everything, your core. Again, only if this feels comfortable and does not hurt your back. Press back down into a child's pose. Good. All right, we're gonna slowly make our way to standing to end. Okay, now that we're up here, we're gonna have a slight bend in our knees, letting our whole body fall forward, swaying side to side, releasing any tension in your neck or your shoulders, grabbing onto your elbows, slowly rolling up. Deep breath in and out, hands behind your back. Deep breath in and out behind your back. Two more, deep breath in and out. Last one, deep breath in and out. Great job, everyone.